we've got a situation where the uh, the Crown has given um, they've given a corridor uh, through the 2014 uh, Mana Whenua Collective Redress Act. They've given iwi who are not uh, from here, who are not the tangata whenua, and who do not actively um, live in Tamaki Makoro. And when I talk about Tamaki Makoro, I'm really talking about the central Tamaki area, which is our uh, our rohe, our our region. So the Government Act of 2014 has really given wings to other iwi uh, to find ways of um, being able to receive and claim land in this area. That's not right. In 2012, we signed our settlement with the uh, with the government. That was a full and final settlement. Uh, that was meant to take care of the uh, the past uh, grievances, but from out of that settlement, the government has created another grievance, which has been to create an unfair uh, playground. Uh, it's not level. And uh, what we're trying to say to the government today in court and for the next 10 weeks is, look, um, tikanga is important. Tikanga is the, uh, the framework by which uh, you should be able to, the government and the courts, should be able to work their way through who has real entitlement, who are the tangata whenua. But what the government essentially are saying and it's now being taken on by the local council, uh, is that, well, tikanga doesn't apply. In fact, we don't recognise tikanga, but what we recognise is that through the formation of the super city, within that broad region now, from Wellsford down to uh, counties, we've got a number of mana whenua or tangata whenua from various regions. But what they've done is they've actually said no, you can all be mana whenua of the whole region and we're going to say that all of you have a collective voice, all of you have a collective entitlement, no matter what part of the region. Well, we're hoping the government will cooperate. What we do know is that Maru Tuahu won't cooperate. We've already tried to settle out of court with Maru Tuahu. They're determined to get a foothold in here by, by any means uh, as a, an iwi who have been given a leg up through legislation. They're not mana whenua. They'll never be recognised as mana whenua here. But Maru Tuahu have gladly come to the party to take our land. So we're saying to the government and to Maru Tuahu and any other iwi who covered our land, stay away. I think it's more than a lack of um, acknowledging the Treaty of Waitangi. The government have lost their respect. They've failed to acknowledge that Ngāti Whātua are their partner in central Auckland. Our tupuna, our, our ancestor, Apihai Te Kawo, gifted the 3,000 acres that we're now on, from Maungafo, the Mount Eden summit, out to Orpo and to Parnell. That's the area that Apihai Te Kawo gifted to Hobson. And I'm afraid to say that the government have totally forgotten. They've had collective amnesia after getting our signature on the line. And now, not only are they not acknowledging the Treaty of Waitangi, but they're disrespecting Ngāti Whātua. They're disrespecting the memory of people like Tahu Kafaru, like Takutai Wikirifi. They are disrespecting the mana of Ngāti Whātua Orake. We're not going to stand for it. And we will occupy Taurarua and Pānau if we have to.